What is up, family? Infinite Abundance family, 777-36 line. John Hancock vibes in the building right now. Look, okay, I have a message for you today. Now, this one's going to be powerful. This one's going to be powerful. This is about feeling the feeling. This is all about the subtle vibrations. And when you're tapped into your higher self and when you're tapped into your feelings, right? When you're feeling good now, as Kevin Trudeau says, when you're feeling good now, you are automatically believing for your goals. Um, and when it comes to thoughts and when it comes to frequency, at the end of the day, whenever you're feeling good, that automatically sends, that automatically sends high vibrational thoughts because the thoughts that you have access to are within your vibrational realm of existence in that moment. So when you're feeling good automatically, it's like automatically thoughts that are that make you feel good are sent into your consciousness on autopilot when you focus on feeling good whereas if you're not feeling good or you're not feeling good and you want to like reverse your thoughts it's like this whole difficult process where like you can yeah you can sit there and think about your goal or think about what you want for you know 60 seconds or whatever but if you're not feeling good about it you're actually doubting it and you're actually uh repelling it because you're sending out a counter intention that's how it works like if you think a thought pattern that you believe then you're sending out a frequency of already receiving it into the universe and that's going to be reflected back to you by sending you circumstance situation events that match that frequency all right now if you are sending out a frequency if you're thinking about what you want and you don't believe and you're doubting what's actually happening is you're sending out a counter intention intention of wanting it and an counter intention of not believing you can get it right and that's going to actually um, repel it from coming in but anyway i wanted to talk about in this video um, when it comes to feeling on the frequency, right? When you are so accustomed to what your goal feels like to have already achieved it, when you feel good right now and you already feel as if your goal has been achieved, when you when you are familiar with the vibration of what it feels like to have already received your goal, then that's when you're manifesting. That's when you're in your vortex. You're in the flow state. You're creating at will. It's It's instant manifestation. Everything's instant manifestation, right? But when you're in that feeling, Basically, there's no there's no longer thought. Your pure presence, your pure consciousness, experiencing the moment, and whatever whatever aligns with that feeling, you just stay on that feeling. And it's all about vibration, right? You just follow your feelings and be present. Follow your feelings, but be present. Follow your feelings. Like you know exactly what to do and when to do it, right? That's a that's a state of tapped in. That's a state of flow. That's a state of creation. It's a very powerful state to be in when you can just tell subtly what vibration. I'll just give you an example, right? I'm making a video. Um, I'm making a video and I I was trimming the video to find TikTok clips and what happened was I'm using my thumb to feel the vibration, right? And, and it's like I set the intention of finding where a TikTok clip is going to be because remember, <clears throat> when I make these videos, I'm making a video for YouTube but with the intention of editing into TikToks as well. So that intention is going to play out by setting up TikToks subconsciously while just I'm speaking because I set that intention into the field, number one. But number two, as I am actually on that vibration, as I'm on the vibration of the goal, whatever goals I have set, right? When I'm on that vibration, no matter what I do, it's going to align with that vibration as long as I'm following my feelings, okay? So it's automatically going to come right to me. So for example, I, I flip to a video to go edit, to, to go look for TikToks, right? And what I do is I just scroll to a random spot and I follow my feelings on where to stop. And then I stop and, you know, nine out of 10 times when I'm in that feeling, when I'm in that state, it immediately takes me right to the TikTok that I needed to make. And I was like, what the hell? It's like, that is pretty lit, right? And so it's like the universe is working for you. You know, when your intention is to help the, 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 the collective, when your intention is to help people, you're going to be helped. Universe is going to help you. God's going to help you. Source is going to help you. Your higher self will guide you. Tap into your higher guidance, man. Open up your third eye. You are a powerful creator. You're a powerful creator being. You're a powerful beyond measure. You're a powerful beyond measure. Focus on your feelings. You know, feeling good now is so important. It's a very powerful tool to use because there's nothing you, you have to do unless you're feeling good. And then when you're feeling good, you're in alignment. And when you're in alignment, you take aligned action and you're sending out aligned energy into the field. Therefore, you're getting back aligned situations, circumstances, and events. That's the power of alignment. That's the power of following your feelings. I just wanted to you know, send this quick message today, something I noticed while I was making TikToks earlier. I wanted to share this with you guys. You know, It was a kind of a download, something I was aware of. I just realized like, just the subtle power of intention, and that's micro intention, you know, micro intention. Now, I can really go over this right now, micro intention versus macro intention, because this is another video I wanted to make that I had set the intention a while back. Now, 
micro intention is like on a moment by moment basis you're so present that you send out an intention an intention is is pretty much it's similar to an expectation but it's not something you expect to happen it's almost like something you know is going to happen but you just send it out there so it's for example you just say um you know take me to the right spot in this video or um you know i'm gonna meet someone today I'm going to, you know, it's just little subtle phrases that you're going to say to your higher self and knowing that you're going to get that guidance in the divine time. Now, it's not something you're worried about or thinking about. It's just, okay. Woo! Holy shit, bro. I got a lot to say. Okay. Um, now, what, what's happening is you, when you set an intention, you, since you're, you're present, it it's only works when you're present. Okay. When you're in the present moment, you're doing one thing at a time, moment by moment. And what happens is when you set an intention, you know that intention is going to be met as long at the perfect timing as long as you stay in the present moment. When you're in the present moment, all possibilities exist. That's the quant that's what the quantum field states. Joe Dispenza, right? When you're in the quantum when you're in the present moment, all possibilities exist in the quantum field. So if you set an intention, that's you sending energy into the field. And when you're in when you're fully present, connected to source, feeling good, whatever you send out into the field will automatically come to you in divine timing. So that means it could be in a few minutes, it could be in a few hours, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. You don't know. You don't know how it's gonna come and you don't know when it's gonna come. And it's the same thing with goals. Right? But intention, a micro intention is like a moment by moment thing. Like, for example, I call someone and I say, and I say, um, you know, I'll allow my heart to guide me here. Or I say, um, um, this is going to work out perfect. And that's just an intention I set. And the physical act of the phone call is wrapped around energetically with the word intention, which is energetically, vibrationally holding that action as well as I'm taking the action. Okay. So like, let's say, for example, like I said, I'm doing a webinar. I do webinars all the time. You know, you should follow my telegram, t.me slash infinite abundance, right? I'm doing a webinar, right? So if I start the webinar and I set the intention, allow me to speak from my heart today. Allow me to say whatever they need to hear. Right, whatever whatever they're looking for, allow me to speak that through. Allow, allow flow that through me. It's kind of like you're speaking to God. Like that's kind of what intention is. Like whether you believe it's your higher self, your God, the universe, your spirit guides, whatever. When you set an intention like that, that's micro intention on a moment by moment basis, action by action basis. And the intention, what it does is it energetically holds the physical action. And according to the training balance scale by Kevin Trudeau and your wish of your command, the intention, energy, uh, feeling, thought side of the training balance scale is 99% of success, okay? The energetic, spiritual, emotional, feeling side of success. And when you set an intention, that's energetically wrapping the action, which will protect you. It'll protect you. You don't have to worry about what, like, there's so many benefits of micro intention because you don't have to worry about what you're going to say. You don't have to worry about what you're going to do next because you're fully present, trusting the guidance from source, you're trusting guidance from source. That's the power of micro intentions. Now I'm gonna get into macro intentions. These are goals. These are almost like goals. They're almost like bigger things, not moment by moments. But let's say, for example, um, you want to move into a new house. Okay, you say I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna find a house at the perfect time. You know, or maybe, maybe you want to. It, it could be like that, or it could be like. I'm going to, any type of goal, like I'm going to make this type of income or I'm going to achieve this or I'm going to achieve that. And it's not something you're doing in that moment, but it's something that's going to happen over the next week or month or year. It's going to be like, I would say probably more so. And even, even like, let's say for example, you have a business, right? You have a business and your intention is that I'm going to, I'm going to focus on just helping as many people as I can, or I'm going to impact a million people, or I'm going to impact a hundred thousand people, or I'm going to impact 10,000 people. So what you can do is when you're going through your business, when you're doing the work for your business, what, what you can do is knowing that that's your intention and clarifying that intention, maybe on a daily basis, um, you can just allow that macro intention to play in. So let's say your business is making phone calls, right? Or you have to make phone calls in your business, okay? Micro intention would be on the phone call itself, in that moment on that phone call, you're saying, okay, my intention is, Hey, allow me, allow me to stay aligned on this call. Allow me to make the right decision. That's an intention, okay? But overall, a macro intention would be for the business, I'm gonna impact 100,000 people this year. I'm, I'm impacting 100,000 lives. I'm impacting 100,000 lives. And that's, it's like a goal, but it's like an intention. And then, but what's happening is, this is how I wanna explain this to you, right? That, that intention is energetically wrapping every action you take as long as you stay aligned with that energetic intention. And you stay aligned with that energetic intention by repeating it over and over again. This is, this is how affirmations work. This is a kind of a deeper understanding of affirmations than you probably heard before. 
right? And this is the first time I've fucking said it as well because I don't know where this came from, right? <laughs> but um, it's true. Like this is something that I that I've done for a while or have done off on and off that I wasn't quite aware of the exact specifics of how it actually worked. And I set the intention to make this video a while back, but I'm just now getting the downloads of how this actually works. So micro intention one more time i'm going to break it down from the from the beginning okay macro intention which is the big scheme of things like let's say your business is um okay let's say your business is network marketing right let's say your business is network marketing okay your your macro intention may be to um help a thousand people this year okay that may be your macro intention i'm going to help a thousand people quit their job or i'm going to help a thousand people go full-time in network marketing or whatever your goal is, okay? That's in your macro intention. And as long as that thought pattern, that intention is dominantly felt by you, which you don't have to say it all the time. If you know what it feels like, you can just stay on the feeling. That's the power of feeling good now. But if you need to, you can say it or think about it or write it to actually activate that vibration within you. And that's the power of writing down your goals. It's the power of writing down your affirmations is you're, you're activating that vibration, Okay, the vibration already exists within you as all vibrations exist within you, but you're activating it by speaking it. You're activating it by seeing it because you're thinking about it. And the thought, it's not about what you think about, but it's about the vibration attached to the thought as well. Okay, so macro intention is, hey, I'm going to help a thousand people this year. I'm going to help 10,000 people this year. I'm impacting the lives of a million people. I am changing the world. You know, those are macro intentions. Now, within that macro intention, let's say you're doing network marketing, there's a webinar and you can set a micro intention, which is this webinar is going to go great. This webinar is going to change someone's life. This webinar is going to have a huge impact. That's a micro intention. Or you make a phone call. This person's going to get started. <clears throat> this, um, I'm going to help this customer. I'm gonna, whatever this customer is looking for, I'm gonna help them. That's a micro intention. You can use both of them. They're both very powerful. And especially once you have the macro, the macro intention clarified in your mind, then the micro intention can become more clear to set. And you're no longer, you know, and I think this kind of solves the whole idea of overthinking or of kind of like limiting yourself because in, for, in a sense, you don't have to know how you're doing what you're doing. All you have to do is know what it feels like to have already hit it. That's all you have to do and maintain in that feeling. So if you know what it feels like to have already hit your goal, everything you do that's while you're feeling that feeling will automatically be right because the thought to take the action came from the vibration of the goal, okay? So that's the power of intention, man. That's the power of micro intention versus macro intention. Power of feeling good now. The power of subtle feelings, micro intention versus macro intention. That's what this, that's what this video is about. Hopefully that made sense. Um, with that example. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give another example. Okay. Another example of macro intention versus micro intention would be this macro intention is let's say, for example, you want to be a professional bodybuilder. You want to be the number one professional bodybuilder in the world. Okay. So your macro intention is I'm going to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Okay. Which will include situations, circumstances and events that's going to allow that to happen, which means you're going to probably meet the right people. You're going to learn the right training exercise. You're going to run the right meal plans. That's all going to happen naturally by default by you setting that in macro intention out into the universe and remaining on that feeling, right? But on micro intention, how micro intention works would be, okay, you're at the gym and you set the intention that, okay, this workout's going to be amazing. This workout, I'm going to have infinite strength. This workout, I'm going to have infinite speed or even within that workout, you could even go micro, micro intention and say, this set is going to be the greatest set of my life. And that intention, it's subtle. It's just, it's just set a little intention. This is going to go great. I think a lot of us, we're taking action subconsciously without even realizing it. But for example, and but when you're super conscious moment by moment, you can set these micro intentions and they always play out if you believe it. Right. And this is how the placebo effect works. Everything is a placebo. Everything's a placebo. Every single thing is a placebo. So if you believe it, then it's going to happen. If you doubt it, then it's blocking it. Okay. Belief, believe and you shall receive doubt and go without. Believe and you shall receive doubt and go without. Why is this? Because everything that happens physically first happens, happens spiritually. Whatever you're feeling the most, you're going to become. Whatever you're thinking the most, you become. You become what you repeatedly do. That's Aristotle, right? We become what we repeatedly do. Right, it's a powerful truth. It's a fact. It's true. So if you if you get in the habit, you can also set a ha you can also create habits through this. You can make a habit of setting macro intention and setting macro intention and allow the universe to flow through you. Now this is ten times as powerful when you have the intention of helping all. When you have the intention of not only helping you for your business and for your own personal reasons, but when you have the intention of helping the entire universe, the entire collective, the whole universe conspires to help you. That's the power. It's ten x. 
10x the power. When your intention is to help other people, you will be blessed. If, you, if you're looking for a blessing, become someone's blessing. If, you, if you're looking for a miracle, become someone's miracle. That's the power. That's how the whole universe is working on your side, right? When your intention is pure, then pure circumstance, situation, events will come in. It's all vibration. It's nothing personal, man. It's just vibrational. That's feel good says. Man, listen, I love you guys. I hope this video made sense to you. I appreciate you, man. I hope to see you in the next one. Send me a message on Instagram. Let's get connected, man. At infiniteabundance 777 um, You want to join my Telegram for trade ideas, webinars, videos, and updates, man? Check out my Telegram, t.me slash infiniteabundance. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you can check out my acuity below. You can uh, book a meeting and see if you're a good fit. Right, I hope you guys uh, wish you guys the best of success in 2021. I hope all of your dreams come true. Let's help create this new earth, man. Much love, y'all. Peace.